Hello and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's housing market update for August 2020. Sales across the province continue to post a strong recovery. Sales are now above their pre-COVID-19 levels as a recovering economy, along with pent-up demand and record low mortgage rates, boost home sales. There were 10,090 sales in July, up 27% over this time last year, and the highest level of provincial home sales for the month of July since 2015. Active listings remain down significantly year over year, creating upward pressure on prices, though increased demand for single-family homes has somewhat skewed average prices in some markets. With sales more than fully recovered and markets still undersupplied, the province-wide sales-to-active listings ratio stands at 28%, solidly in seller's market territory. At that level of market imbalance, there tends to be a correlation with an acceleration of home prices. However, in these unusual times, the normal metrics used to gauge market conditions may not be as useful a guide, so contact your local realtor to identify market conditions in your area. Average home prices saw significant upward pressure in July as increased demand for more living space combined with an undersupplied market meant that many markets saw average prices increase by double digits year over year as heightened demand for single detached homes skewed prices higher. The MLS average price for BC as a whole was up 12.9% year over year to $771,000. The MLS Home Price Composite Index, likely a better gauge of price growth in the current period, measures the price of a typical home and is not susceptible to changes in the product mix of sales. The HPI showed an increase of 4.5% year over year in Greater Vancouver, was up 4.1% in the Fraser Valley, 5.7% in Victoria, 5.4% in the Vancouver Island Port area, and 3.5% in the Okanagan mainland Port. Now let's take a look at market conditions around the province. That's it for this month's housing market update. We hope everyone is safe and healthy. We'll see you again next month.